If you haven't lived in any rural area, then you might not share this with us who do. But whenever the county fair comes to town, it's like our Beatles concert. Even the town drunks who you barely see because they stay at home all day even show up. Our county fair went hard. They would have blue and green lights strung up everywhere, so at night, it gets really trippy. They also had rides, petting zoos, a circus, and of course, a bunch of food stands with all the fried food you could eat. When I was 13, the county fair came to town, and of course, we were already there the first day. We decided to start small first, which sucked, but I was okay with it because we started at the circus. The circus was okay, I guess. This was a county fair. They weren't going to have people doing death-defying stuff. There was one clown I noticed would look at me a lot. We were sitting in some high school bleacher type thing, so the crowd was small. And even at 13, I felt kind of weirded out by him. The clown was in full white face, typical clown hair colored blue, a blue flannel, and blue jeans. Guess they were going with a theme for him. After it was done, and I got around the fair ambiance, I totally forgot about that clown and enjoyed myself. I went on rides and got on the swing ride. It's just a seat buckled in and spun like a merry-go-round. While I was on it, I noticed something odd. The clown. The same blue-haired clown. I think he noticed me because he took off in the opposite direction as soon as I saw him. I didn't want to tell my parents because I thought we'd have to go home if I did. Remember, I was 13 here. Everywhere we went, I'd check over my shoulder and notice him off in the distance. Now I wondered how long has he been watching me for when I noticed him. Was it the first time? I'm doing everything in my power to not freak out at this point because I loved the fair, and I wasn't going to let him ruin it for me. After half enjoying it and half being freaked out, I decided to use the bathroom before we left. So I pointed towards the bathrooms and asked my father if I could go. He said yes, and I rushed to the nearest bathroom that I saw. I started to go when I heard footsteps, and they stopped, right where I was. I called out for my dad, thinking it was him, but he didn't respond. My dad was aggravated because he was tired, so he wouldn't be in the joking mood. I asked who was there, and got no response. I didn't know what to do. Here is some stranger just waiting right by my stall. And I was 13. There's no way I could fight off any full grown adult if needed to. Before I could even blink, I saw the lock on the stall door start moving. And before I could scream, the door opened up to a man that I didn't know. He charged towards me and tried to cut my mouth, but I kept kicking and screaming. He started hitting me when I wouldn't stop. And finally, two guys who I owe my life to came in and, well, roughed him up is kind of an understatement. My dad came flying in and got me out of there. My face was swollen and had been blood all over it. I was shaking. I don't think I've ever felt more terrified in my life. I was so scared that even being with my dad, I still could not stop freaking out. 
the cops came and took him away, charging him with just the beating. When the guys came in, they just saw him hitting me, and even the guy who did it admitted it to that. And guess what? He was a clown. With blue hair. So, creepy stalker clown guy, let's not meet again. <laughs>